Howdy, it's Jubal Kane again to give you some real old technology today because remember I don't know anything new. Some of you have uh, the old flat belt uh, lathes that require a leather belt like what I'm holding in my hand here and uh, when the belt breaks or when you buy a new belt often you have to put your own splicers on there and this is actually called uh, lacing, belt lacing. So I'm going to show you how to uh, lace a belt today. There's many different ways if you look at like in the South Bend lathe book, but I like these uh, clipper hooks from the clipper company. Now, I have here some real old ones that I'm going to use. and They come in many different sizes depending on the thickness of the belt. Also they come in different lengths. So Sometimes they're uh, splicing a very wide belt, you know a 10 inch wide or something for a threshing machine, but of course we're doing something that's only about an inch and a half wide. And uh, so I'm going to use these belt hooks here, and I can't even read the size on it, but uh, that's what we're going to use. And we just cut them off to length, and do not remove them from the little cardboard uh, carrier, except to cut them to length. Also included in the boxes are the various uh, uh, types of... Uh, Oh, shall we see? This is cat gut, and it's used to, to hold the two ends together. Now, if you get a newer batch of this, you're going to get some plastic. Uh, here's a piece that I have that's plastic coated, but actually it's, there's a little wire on the inside of it. But once you start to use it, uh, the belt hooks kind of form a little uh, impression in here, and they do not slide out. Now, this is the actual uh, belt splicer itself, and they come in different widths and uh, this is the cheaper kind that you just hold in a bench vise in order to uh, clinch the belt hooks but there's a big freestanding one too made by clipper kind of hard to get a hold of it's got two big handles on it but this is quite satisfactory when you're in a shop now if you're out in the farm field you'd want that other kind so we're going to get uh, ready to go here in a minute one other thing I want to show you is that when you splice these together trying to get that so it's in focus uh, in order that the belt be even on the sides where I'm gripping it you need to have one set of hooks a little bit more offset from the others and uh, it's a good idea maybe to practice this on some scrap leather before you commit yourself to your belt that you have cut to length Let me correct myself if I may. This is not a clipper splicer. This one is made by Speedy. The clipper looks pretty much the same. And it some of them come with a little scissors so that you can cut this belt lacing into lengths uh, because you're just cutting through heavy paper. So I just used a, a regular sewing scissors for that that I stole from my wife. Hope she doesn't care. But uh, also it comes with this little uh, rod and this goes in the end right here so when you install your uh, lacing in there you just slide that in and that'll hold the lacing in place so it doesn't uh, wiggle around. I'm going to work in the middle of this because we always like to work in the middle of the vise so that uh, the pressure will be applied without cocking. Now the belt uh, is inch and a half wide that I'm using here and it's quarter inch thick and I just cut the uh, end off because this is kind of a piece of scrap building. I like to I cut it in my metal cutting band saw and make sure you cut it square. Alright, the belt lacing is installed in the uh, lacer. There's the rod holding it. And once I put it in there, then I remove the red paper. It used to be red, I guess, or maroon. And now you can see the little hooks or claws waiting to grab something. Look like a crab or a lobster or something there. There's a whole line of them. Now we're going to put the uh, the end of the belt in there and push it down. As If you've got the end of the belt square, you're going to push it down to the bottom and hold it perfectly vertical and then it should be square. Now if you get these off of square, you're going to have to cut them off and redo it. Well, 
ready to splice. In the belt goes and I'm pushing it down as far as it'll go and uh, now I am tightening the vise and as I do that tighten her up good and tight and we're going to back it off and I'm going to pull the rod out we don't need that anymore open this up we can pull that out. We will remove the blue paper now, which isn't necessary anymore. Now often you'll have one that uh, comes right off on the end here that you didn't need. And we are now done with one side and we'll do the other one now. And I'm going to do that off a of camera because it's just a repetition of what we did. But for the other end, you will offset it a little bit so that when you're done the two ends will come together like that see it's pretty simple okay here's the finished belt and I've got the piece of cat gut in there and make it even on one end and then you just clip it off with a side cutting pliers and uh, this thing is ready to go and uh, you just pull the cat gut out to mount it on your your lathe now when you cut your belt the length make sure that you uh, you do have a belt adjustment on the lathe and uh, slack it off so that you're able to take up any little uh, extra stretching you might get in the belt I hope this uh, helps all of you old South Bend lathe owners this is Tubal Cain signing out saying so long for now